These are the words of Franz Kafka, <laughs> written some 90 years ago. You can hold back from the suffering of the world, and you have free permission to do so, and it is within your nature. But perhaps this very holding back is the one suffering you could have avoided. When I consider my dear friends of so many years, this Edelman Janos family, Susan, Claudio, Lisa, and Aaron, when I remember Susan's extraordinary parents, Lucy and Iz of blessed memory, when I think of the values that have been handed down here from one generation to the next and that have animated their lives, it is very clear that this is a family, every one of them, that has never held back, that they have always taken a stand against human suffering, and that they have refused to acquiesce to the judgment of the nation or history or the demands of a political party or an economy at the expense of people who are crushed by them in order to arrive at a goal. In one way or another, they have affirmed in their actions and in their benefactions that the earth is too small and life is too short for anything to be more important than to guard life and to protect it against all those forces that would demean or diminish it. In one of his earliest books, Roberto Bolaño, like Claudio, a native of Chile, had one of his characters speak these words. One has to be responsible. One has a moral responsibility, obligation, to take responsibility for one's actions, and that includes one's words and one's silences. Yes, one's silences, because silences rise to heaven as well. One must be very careful with one's silences. In presenting this inaugural Legacy of Liberty Award, the ACLU is expressing its appreciation to Susan and Claudio and Lisa and Aaron, who have had the courage to refuse to be silent wherever civil liberties, civil rights, human decency have been threatened or have been trampled upon. And in so doing, they have brought honor to every one of us. So I'm very pleased that I can be the one to call them forth to receive this award, award which naturally and almost inevitably belongs to them. Mm -hmm.